Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, in this video I will uh, present uh, a new tool released by, by our team. So uh, this uh, Django Dynamic API module which is uh, also published on, um, on FiFi can be used to, um, uh, to build automatically an API on top of, uh, of a model that is uh, used in a Django application. How it works, the, once the, um, uh, the library is installed, uh, the software comes with an abstract module that uh, is basically an interface uh, between your API and your model. Uh, the library is not using any uh, code generation flow or something. It's just um, uh, knows how to manage the the request uh, for uh, for the API during the during the runtime. So uh, if you have a model, uh, you just need to add a single line in the in the configuration, and you should be able to um, uh, access that model through an API using uh, secure calls. Um, the um, get requests are public and all the other mutating requests like creation, update and deletion are protected by uh, JWT, uh, JWT tokens. So uh, all the steps are here. Uh, please follow up carefully all the, all the, um, all the steps explained. So uh, uh, let's uh, take a look at the um, Let's build a sample project and uh, just uh, uh, test the feature. So uh, for the sample project, I will use a simple uh, um, uh, Django starter that we, we are using in our experiments. So it's basically a core Django with, uh, with Docker support. So, but feel free to use your own, uh, your own uh, project in case you have something similar or just a real uh, life um, Django project. Okay, I will use uh, this, uh, this sample. The, the code remains on, uh, on GitHub, so feel free to, once the demonstration is finished, feel free to access the public repository and take a look at the, at the code. Okay. So the project is uh, is updated. I will use uh, GitHub um, UI to GTI to check out the sources. Okay, and download the, the project. So let's open up the sample project. this one so at this point we need to follow up the instructions to build uh, the basic uh, corporate uh, starter uh, Django starter so I will follow up the visual steps like uh, create a virtual environment install the modules and all other all other steps basically this uh, installation uh, will will pull only Django okay so uh, we can start application but uh, it's just a bare minimum Django project without much features I will migrate the application and uh, Create a super user. Okay, so the application is uh, is created. We can access the the app in the browser. Is basically the the classic Django starter at this point. So the next step is to add a new a new application which will define a new model. And once the application is installed and the, the database is migrated, 
we will uh, get back to the dynamic API library and uh, follow up the steps here and uh, just uh, build the API. So let's go. I have here something uh, somewhere in the in the history. The command that create the Okay, so uh, a new application was created here. Basically, it's just an empty uh, Django application. I will uh, I will add I will uh, add a, a simple model here in the models file. Basically, it's just a simple class book with two fields. Uh, the next step is to update the. Um, uh, Django configuration and includes a new app, app one, of course. And uh, once we save the file, we need to migrate, uh, run the migration, and update the database. Perfect. So the new book model is uh, is uh, generated, and uh, also the database is migrated. We can check out again the server just to see if it runs correctly so it's all good let's uh, stop the application and get back to the um, dynamic api module what we have here of course we need to install the we install the application install the library uh, update the configuration the installed apps to add the, the library and also the drf because the library uses drf uh, in the in the background uh, other things uh, that we should um, uh, configure is to um, inform the um, dynamic API that we want to manage the, the book model from app one uh, application and to map this uh, book using the books uh, API's log. So basically this segment refers to the URL where the, the model is manageable will be slash API slash box. Uh, this part is uh, less important, is required by the DRF. So uh, once we finish the configuration, we need to uh, migrate the database because the uh, DRF requires some, uh, some tables to, to manage the tokens. And uh, also we need to uh, update the routing, the application routing to uh, add the URLs managed by the dynamic API module and also the, this path that helps us to, to get a token for the um, mutating request like uh, creation, uh, update and, uh, and delete. Okay, let's uh, follow up all the steps and uh, test the, the whole flow. Uh, okay. Okay. Now the API is um, installed and also the, the DRF. Cool. The next step is to update the application section and include the new, the new apps. So basically it's the dynamic API uh, library and the uh, and the drf part i will uh, copy all this section and put it at the end of the file just to keep a clean settings for the for the project uh, so i repeat this uh, this section should exist because it's um, it's uh, scanned by the by the library during runtime this is the slug that will uh, where the model will be exposed in the in the browser and uh, accessible and uh, this is the definition of our model that we want to be manageable by the dynamic api library so uh, the next step is to migrate the database uh, 
the library don't use any any uh, tables uh, we need to run this migration for the DRF part uh, because uh, um, DRF uh, uses some tables to, to manage the JW tokens that we we will use okay the next step is to update the um, the routing we need this uh, info directive this line uh, informs Django to import the all the URLs uh, managed by the dynamic API library and uh, the next import uh, it's uh, related to uh, to the token management the part that secures the API so at this point uh, the application uh, should be usable uh, we just installed the, the library and uh, made the, the configuration as suggested in the in the library readme file so let's start the, the application and see how it goes cool so we can access right now the, the root of the project and we can see here the, the routing is updated. We have uh, API rules and also the JWT uh, sign-in. Let's uh, APA box is, uh, is the API that we, we added to the configuration. This is pretty cool. If we try to get uh, an item by ID, uh, we are informed that the, the item uh, does not exist, which is uh, correct. Uh, let's go to the, let's use um, an external uh, third party tool like Postman to interact with the API. Uh, it's already, the URLs are already here. So uh, the application, I, I was preparing this, uh, this uh, material, for this material, the, the Postman uh, application to interact with the API. We can also visualize all the requests here in the in the terminal. So here we have get all books. Let's uh, um, try to create a new book, which is a mutating request. In this case, uh, the the body will specify the the information, and uh, in the header um, we need to to put here a token which is returned by the by the application in this case i will use just a dummy value for the token and um, the application should inform us as that uh, the request is not authorized so uh, we have here invalid token and also we have the, the 403 not uh, access restricted the um, http status in the in the terminal which is super correct let's uh, uh, get a new token from the application <clears throat> and this can be done using an, uh, an existing uh, user a registered user and uh, when we, we provide the username and the password we will get uh, the token uh, to be used uh, in all uh, in all requests like create update or delete I will put here the, the token value and uh, we send the creation request in this case uh, we should have a, a new book which is which is uh, which is super we can of course uh, get back in the browser and uh, interrogate the, um, uh, the the ui provided by the drf and uh, we can see here the, the new item let's uh, update the book uh, we have here the uh, the id1 which is um, uh, which identifies the the row in the database uh, and in the header I will save the the new token so uh, this this was the delete sorry in this case we should uh, not have any more the, the item okay I will go back here and uh, recreate the, the item record created of course this is cool and uh, here I will um, I will update the the item with some uh, new information uh, object ID
uh, okay so the id is two not one so we need to put here id two okay so the update is cool so we have here the information is successfully updated um, let's uh, create a new model and uh, see how it goes uh, if we go here and uh, try to access a new a new model that is not registered in the application uh, we see this message this model is not activated or does not exist which is correct let's uh, stop the stop the application and uh, add a new model here cities cities so put here name I don't care about the info so we have uh, basically we have a new model uh, in our application of course can be other other apps whatever uh, what is super important is uh, when we inform here the library to, to manage the new model uh, this path should be should be correct because um, during the run time the import should should be should be okay so we have here the the new model let's uh, migrate the database the new model is created let's uh, update, apply the changes on, on database and at this point we have another uh, model defined in the application that uh, and of course we want to manage it uh, manage the model using the dynamic api so i will put here cities and here is the city city model let me double check if is correct no it's city no cities correct and here we need to have cities okay let's start application and uh, and uh, check out the dynamic api feature so in this case we have no no information so the dynamic api works let's create a new a new city using uh, using postman i will put here uh, cities uh, and our definition is uh, should include a name for the city so I will delete this name and here I put of course Paris because it's, it's super super nice okay let's send information record created if we go back to the URF UI we have the the new the new city created so guys this library is open source feel free to take a look uh, it uses a dynamic programming uh, pattern where the where the entities uh, from the database are are um, um, scanned during the the runtime you don't need to add extra code you just need to install the library and update the configuration and from that point you have an, a secure usable api without any other effort so um, as i said before the <coughs> the source code is uh, is published on uh, on github uh, the mit license is uh, means that you can uh, use the code incorporate the code in commercial projects uh, duplicate the code and do whatever you want um, in case anyone uh, need support feel free to access AppSid. Um, we are uh, providing support using email and also discord um, feel free to chat with us and uh, tell us what you think thanks for watching adrian here from AppSid. i wish you all as always a super super day bye guys